Yeah, first of all, uh, general uh, short overview of the check. It's, uh, we call it EMV, it's an extended maintenance visit. Uh, it's um, a special wording from the NASA team. Uh, it's comparable to a sea check. It's around about 16,000 man hours of work in total. Um, we spend a lot of time inside the cabin with the removal of the whole interior. Then we can have a look later on. Um, as well, the external fuselage, the engines and the gears uh, took a lot of yeah, special care because due to the age of the aircraft, and um, aircraft which has already run about 80,000 hours on its wing. Um, it's an aging aircraft and it's in good hands with our side. Um, let's go to the engine first. I think that's maybe one of the best spots really to, to start with some very interesting stuff. Um, during the check, we have removed all four of them. Um, we have uh, special uh, inspections on the wings, on the pylons, therefore it was necessary to remove the engine. Uh, we can have a look closer to the engine. Yeah, uh, Sophia is powered with a JD9D engine. It's a engine uh, developed in the middle of the 60s. Flew first on the 747-100 in 1966 and still doing a very good job on Sophia because um, the last three operating SPs still are flying with the JD-9 engines um, and there are not very much aircraft left which are operating with these engines. Um, during the check, we, uh, as already mentioned, we removed all four of them for inspections on the attachments, on the tubings and basically on the whole engine. Uh, everything what we can do uh, is possible here on site. Um, we have inspected very much structural issues on the, on the engine mountings, which is normal on, on an aircraft like that for a sea check. Um, also during the check, we uh, spend a lot of time on re repairs on the engine itself. Um, we spend a lot of time on the cowlings. Um, they had due to the high operation limits on Sophia. Sophia is flying every two days. Um, we spend a lot of time there for repair them because they are itching and we also found several issues there but everything is repaired sir, so Sophia is back for a safe operation. Um, let's have maybe a short walk to the most interesting area which is basically for the um, special load configuration which has to be so here is equipped as a telescope of around about 17 tons in the tail. So uh, the, the most loads appear during the landings and in the areas of the landing gears, especially on the main gear. So during the check, we found as well there um, in the area of the center wing. Just to have a closer look here. Um, this is the center wing area. Um, this is a very delicate area where a lot of um, issues may happen. So uh, as well from the NASA contract side, we had a very detailed inspection in these areas because it's common to have here structural defects uh, which need to be discovered uh, to ensure a proper and safe operation and avoid any fuel leakage. Um, during the um, last checks, we found a very good working together that we really do a lot of incoming checks. This is an item which has been developed developed during 2014 to 2017 during the checks here and now uh, we took in place that we uh, do an extended incoming checking of the aircraft so check all the wings for possible fuel leaks check the engines for proper condition and function for proper operation that if there are discrepancies in the normal operation or if we find any issues we can uh, take actions during the check and this works very well during the checks. We had several issues, but they have been all solved during the check, and we are really good on the way to get the CRS and the release for Sophia by tomorrow. So we are perfect on track, and this is a sign of the good working together we had here with NASA, DLI, and LHD. Um, let's maybe have a walk or a closer look um, for the cabin. There we can have a look for the very special. Um, interior of the aircraft as well to the cockpit, which is also very unique for a 747SP. 
because normally the cockpit has only the old analog gauges. Sophia is able to present perfect digital screens for the indication. That's something. Present you the, the first view inside the cabin of Sophia. Um, we are pretty finished with the cabin interior. Um, the last works and clear ups for the release by tomorrow are over. So you can see already there in the tail the area of the telescope. Um, the very special uh, installations here for the mission controls and as well for the flight uh, directors, which are necessary during the operation of the telescope. Yes, welcome back. Um, yeah, during the check, the aircraft looks completely different. Um, in rate of the complete maintenance program we have during this EMD, uh, we are also in order to check the whole internal fuselage for position, corrosion, tracks, or structural discrepancies. And therefore, it was necessary to remove the whole entire cabin, all these mission control centers, uh, all these mission control valves. Everything was necessary to remove. This has been done by the colleagues from NASA. And from LHC side, we are in order to remove, remove the whole cabin floor. All the sidewall linings, ceilings, everything what you can see here has completely been removed. removal of the cabin, it's not only the lining which is clearly visible and also the installation and seats and the, the equipment, it's also necessary to remove, you can see it in the rear, all the insulation blankets. So the whole cabin from the floor to the crown area has been completely stripped um, so that we are able to remove even the smallest corner in the fuselage to perform structural inspections and to verify that the aircraft is in good shape. Even in this area starting the high modified area of the aircraft which is uh, very high loaded and is very high modified. Uh, even these areas are part of the structural inspections which we have been carrying out here at the Plaza Technik at Nürnberg. reliability of the equipment cooling and the whole aircraft. Um, so we have worked out together with NASA a project 
to improve the equipment cooling system of the telescope system, which has been taking place here also during this check. Uh, the certification has just been finished and we are waiting for the results during the test flight, which will take place on next Monday. place for, for the crew and the scientists which are flying on board of Sophia during the time of the landing and takeoff. During the flight they are of course at their instruments. Um, you can have a look here a bit afterwards. This is basically one of the parts of Sophia. Uh, normally on normal aircraft here is the upper deck galleon store. Uh, in place of Sophia, the most important is not the catering and the care of the passengers. It's the care of the telescope, so you can see here a lot of the special installations of the telescope control and cooling system. Person flight deck, so we still have a flight engineer on board. And during this check, um, it's also very, uh, it's also a hard package because most of the cockpit has been removed for structural inspections inside uh, the fuselage here. Um, the most of the console has been in place, but everything what you can see the side walls, the ceilings, all these panels has been taken out, even the insulations. And our the cabin crew and the avionics they had a hard time for removing and so on, all of these wires and blankets and ceilings and sidewalls uh, to, to get everything back in place. And our structure guys did a very good job here on the inspections, um, a very short, very economic way to do all these inspections here to keep the timeline of the check and get F, uh, the Sophia now back to the condition as it is now, and a good way to fight it. After this small view through the cockpit, um, I think it's really uh, very easy to see. Sophia is not only very high modified from the telescope and the aft lift, it's also on the cockpit side. You can see um, we have engine electronic displays instead of the classic analog gauges, and even all the flight instruments and all the uh, <laughs> navigation data plates are all digital screens. This is also a modification which is unique and only Sophia is flying in this configuration. 